Oh, the problem with that era, 1983, three lock box. Oh, there was a problem. There's, there's a serious problem. And that said, MTV came out and was starting to be big. You know, if you had a big MTV hit, you could sell millions of records without having a, you know, a hit on the radio. You could, you could have a, a video hit that would sell millions of records. And tons of bands broke off MTV that way. So I just remember the difference being, here I am, a rock star, selling off pretty much arenas in any city in America, and basically in the world in 1982. 83, all of a sudden, you know, I'm walking through an airport and people are going, hey, there's that guy. Oh, people are recognizing like people that don't even look like rock people, you know, people that don't even probably know my music. Oh, there's that guy, there's that guy. They, half of them didn't even know my name. But all of a sudden, because of MTV, having all that video exposure, um, rock stars became mainstream. Everyone knew who you were. You know, the bigger your video, the more people had seen you. You can walk down the street, all of a sudden you get recognized, asking for autographs, asking for photographs. All these things that never happened before unless you were in a place where your fans were. If you went to another concert, you got recognized. Sometimes in a shopping mall, there might be a super fan that's say, whoa, that's Sammy Hagar, you know. But rarely, you walk through an airport all day long, you know. Uh, all of a sudden, all that changed in 1983 with three lock box because of that video. I sure look silly in that video. I was so fucking uncomfortable. One, two, three lock box. I'm walking around like a, like I'm kind of slinking around. <laughs> That's some pretty stupid moves. <laughs> Three Lock Box, 1983. You're gonna drive me crazy. Biggest top 40 hit I think I've ever had. Went to number 11 in top 40. Hmm. Bye. Yeah. Three Lock Box.